Hello everyone, welcome back to Alpha Nutrition, your daily health news and information source. In today's video, we're going to discuss the origins of one of the most devastating pandemics in modern history, HIV AIDS. Where did it come from? How did it start? Let's find out. HIV stands for Human Immunodeficiency Virus, and it is the virus that causes AIDS, acquired immunodeficiency syndrome. It is estimated that around 38 million people worldwide are living with HIV AIDS, and over 700,000 people die from AIDS-related illnesses every year. But where did it all start? The earliest known case of HIV was found in a blood sample taken in 1959 from a man living in what is now the Democratic Republic of Congo. However, it is believed that the virus existed in chimpanzees and other primates for centuries before it was transmitted to humans. The most widely accepted theory about the origins of HIV is that it was transmitted to humans in the late 19th or early 20th century. When people hunted and ate infected chimpanzees or came into contact with their infected blood. This is known as the zoonotic origin theory. A theory suggests that HIV originated from a strain of simian immunodeficiency virus, SIV that infects chimpanzees in Central Africa. According to this theory, the virus was transmitted to humans who hunted and ate infected chimpanzees, leading to the first cases of HIV in humans. The chimpanzee theory gained traction in 1999 when researchers discovered that chimpanzees in Central Africa had a simian immunodeficiency virus, SIV that was closely related to HIV. SIV was believed to be transmitted to humans when hunters came into contact with the infected blood of the chimps during hunting or butchering. This cross-species transmission was likely to have occurred multiple times before the virus mutated to become a human pathogen. Another theory suggests that HIV was introduced to humans through the administration of contaminated polio vaccines in the 1950s and 60s. This theory is supported by the fact that some of the earliest known cases of HIV were among people who received the polio vaccine during that time period. Other theories pitch that HIV was the result of colonialism and the exploitation of African resources. Some researchers have argued that the virus may have been introduced to humans through the use of contaminated needles during colonial medical campaigns, while others have suggested that it may have been a product of the commercial sex industry that emerged during that time. One of the earliest known cases of HIV in the United States was documented in 1969, but it wasn't until the early 1980s that doctors began noticing an increase in cases of a rare form of cancer called Kaposi's sarcoma and a rare lung infection called pneumocystis carini pneumonia. Further investigation led to the discovery of a new virus, HIV- which attacks the immune system. During the early epidemic days, significant progress has been made in understanding and treating HIV AIDS. There are now effective antiretroviral therapies that can suppress the virus and allow people living with HIV to live long healthy lives. A person who is diagnosed with HIV will usually be started on antiretroviral therapy ART. ART is a combination of medications that work to suppress the virus and prevent it from replicating in the body. When taken consistently and as prescribed, ART can reduce the amount of virus in a person's body to undetectable levels, which means they are much less likely to transmit the virus to others. The different classes of medications used in ART include nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors (NRTIs), non-nucleoside reverse transcriptase inhibitors (NRTIs), protease inhibitors (PIs), fusion inhibitors, and integrase inhibitors. These medications can be taken in different combinations, depending on a person's specific needs and medical history. In line with ART, people living with HIV may also need to take medications to manage other conditions related to the virus, such as opportunistic infections or other illnesses that can arise when the immune system is weakened. To conclude, the origins of HIV are never fully known. The origins of HIV are still a topic of research and debate. Scientists have proposed various theories on how the virus first appeared in humans. Today, HIV is a manageable condition with the help of antiretroviral therapy ART, a combination of medications that work to suppress the virus and prevent its progression to AIDS. As the research on the origin of HIV continues, scientists are also working on developing new and better treatments for the virus. One of the approaches being explored is the use of broadly neutralizing antibodies, which are antibodies that can target multiple strains of HIV and prevent the virus from entering cells. Early detection and treatment with antiretroviral therapy are crucial for managing the virus and preventing its spread. Furthermore, despite the availability of effective treatments, HIV continues to be a major public health challenge around the world. According to UNAIDS, 
there were approximately 38 million people living with HIV in 2019. And 690,000 people died from AIDS-related illnesses that same year. While the efforts to prevent new HIV infections and improve access to treatment and care are ongoing. Researchers working to develop new treatments and interventions to better address the global HIV epidemic. It has infected over 70 million people and caused more than 35 million deaths. One of the most important aspects of HIV treatment is early detection. Getting tested for HIV as soon as possible after exposure is crucial. While there is no cure for HIV, ongoing research explores new treatment options that could lead to a cure or long-term remission of the virus. Stigma and discrimination also continue to be major barriers to HIV prevention and care. With the help of continued research, improved treatments, and increased awareness and education, we can work towards a future without HIV slash AIDS. Thank you for watching, and be sure to subscribe to Alpha Nutrition for more informative health content.